Welcome to Trump Breaking News Network. Your daily source for up-to-date news on the political scene of Donald Trump, his presidency, American politics and conspiracies. Please subscribe to receive notice of our daily updates, also share with your friends and your social media. We encourage you to like our videos and give your comments. This is TBNN. Dems trembling after seeing Trump's 2020 campaign war chest. According to Independent Journal Review, that uphill climb against congressional Republicans in 2018 looks like it will transform into an insurmountable height for Democrats to conquer in 2020 when they face off against Trump, as he has already raised an incredible amount for his re-election campaign during his first year in office. The fourth quarter campaign finance report filed with the Federal Election Commission revealed that Trump's campaign has already raised more than $20 million toward his re-election bid. That included nearly $7 million in total receipts in just the past few months, with more than $22 million in cash on hand at the end of the year. By way of comparison, a similar FEC report showed that former President George W. Bush only had about $3.8 million in cash at the end of his first year, and former President Barack Obama, who didn't even really start fundraising until after his second year in office held only $2.3 million in cash at the end of 2009, per the FEC. White House advisors are already looking to the 2020 re-election campaign and expectations are high that President Trump will face a primary challenge. A top advisor told Secrets that the West Wing expects Ohio Governor John Kosich to run again, offering his moderate credentials as an alternative to Trump, who criticized him at a fundraiser this week. And Arizona Republican Senator Jeff Flake floated a bid during a discussion with students of Georgetown University's Institute of Politics and Public Service at the school's McCourt School of Public Policy. The Republican National Committee in the coming months will debate changes to the presidential nominating process, possibly leading to friction between President Trump's loyalists and party institutionalists. Trump, through emissaries at the RNC, could seek rule changes constricting the path of potential GOP primary challengers in 2020. It wouldn't be the first time a Republican president, or nominee, attempted to alter the nominating regulations with a night toward defrocking future competition. The just-concluded annual winter meeting of the RNC was virtually tension-free. Committee members basked in the glow of Trump's well-received State of the Union address, plus the improving popularity of the $1.4 trillion tax overhaul that he signed into law late last year. The RNC Rules Committee met as scheduled during the gathering. In brief session, panel members agreed to begin the quadrennial process of examining the regulations that govern presidential nominations, which encompass primary contests in the states and the national convention. This has been the Trump Breaking News Network. Please subscribe and share to stay up to date on the latest news about our president. Be informed.